Hey there, it's Mark. When I did my convention video, it was too long. So the convention cars, the souvenirs, those are in a separate video. This one here is going to show my pickups as well as our downhill racers. If you'd like to see what vintage red lines we race at the convention, this is the right video. I'm just going to take a peek at this drag strip duel. I'm, I am going to review it. It's kind of cool. They have uh, parachutes to slow down dragsters. There's supposed to be two dragsters in this box, and the person said that he had not opened it up, so hopefully they are in there. I'm going to just take a peek at this first, this way I can get it out of the way, because once I, once I start opening uh, that bag and those cars, it's going to be a mess. There you go, right next to the copyright Mattel Incorporated 1989. So this says 30 years old, or 29. That's the production copyright it's not when it was necessarily in the stores so it has some type of a starting mechanism got uh, 16 feet of track so eight feet of lanes on each side checker flag that checker flag starts looks like the or finish looks like the same one they've used a lot and uh, there's your pins oil this one is a pioneer someone said that one actually might be harder to find i don't know if it's exclusive to this set but I, I think they said that this pins oil version was available in singles separately. I won't be doing the research on it. When I do review this, I'm just going to open it up. We're going to check it out. They also promote a couple other sets that they had at the time. Double barrel. That type of track layout has been used a few times. Those uh, loops with the middle uh, cutouts. I like those loops. They've been used for a few track sets. And what's down here? G-Force. That's another thing that they've used a lot. Just a loop and a jump. Definitely like those uh, landing pads. Now for downhill racing, they'll have different categories. They'll have basic cars. They'll have red lines. They'll have 15, age 15 and under. This time they actually did a pink slip race. Uh, I forget. Anyways, I only do two races. Well, uh, I only like to do the red lines, so I bring my red lines and uh, the theme race. I like doing the theme race because we, hi, we, with the other categories, you already know what your champion cars are. Uh, but when they do the theme race, you have no idea what it is going to be. So you have to test your cars. So it was actually red line club cars. So we'll just take a quick peek. If if you know these jammers, they get. They, they do get, they do fog up a little bit. You just take a, a towel, wipe them down. But let's go ahead and take a peek, just uh, quick. I had no idea how this, uh, what is this, a heavyweight dump truck? I had no idea how this was going to do. So we brought one and then uh, opened it up down there. It's supposed to be a dump truck. I don't know. I don't know how it dumps. Anyways, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just for looks. It was slow. It was a dog. It was terrible. Uh, these were this was not very good. I have two of them. Oh, yeah, actually right there. There's two of them Now even though even though the school bus Even though the school bus is a fast downhill racer This this version this HWC or redline club version not fast at oh, yeah, you know what I got to do I got to figure out how to put this back in the uh, wheelie bar popped off not wheelie bar the uh, the body hold prop thing stick, you know Erase that one, then it was okay. Mana likes green and she likes VWs. So we would, we definitely, it's Evil Weevil, I believe. Uh, I brought this for her to race. Yep, this one's mine. I don't know if she has one already. Evil Weevil. These are not original red lines, these are from Mattel's uh, online uh, website. Ferrari, is it P4? Let's see. Yep, Ferrari P4. Uh, this one does not have any opening features. Most of their stuff doesn't, but some do. This does have an opening hood. Uh, you know, you're paying $15, $20 a car, so you definitely like having moving features. Early red lines, you know, they had moving features. So this one has a moving part somewhere, opening hatch. I thought it had uh, opening side doors, but no, it's the hatch. My mistake. And here's a couple. You know, I had no idea how these were going to do. I've never raced them. Uh, well, just put them on the track and let's find out. And I found out they were not good at all. This car right here 
It's called Try Baby 2. It's a modern car. This is not a, uh, this was a modern design. To be honest with you, it has opening hatch. To be honest with you, I don't even know if they've released it more than this once. Uh, don't know, don't care. Um, but if they do, I like plastic tires. I like the plastic red line tires, like when uh, I was growing up. So that's why I like to buy these versions. Plus you can race them. This one right here is the 4J car. Nice and shiny. Love that spectral flame type paint. Let's see, what do I have on the other side? All of these were not contenders, so that's why they were here. Uh, the fastest cars, you do testing on Friday, so the fastest cars I put in that container. This way you don't need to carry all of them around, just, just bring the ones you want to try. Uh, let me get my camera in a different position. I put a pencil under the jammer so I don't have to keep tilting it back. Otherwise, I don't want it to fall forward and all the cars come out. Not that it matters. We raced them anyways. Here you have a mm, surf and school bus. You know, big and heavy piece of metal. I thought, you know, put it on the track, see how it does. Nope. <laughs> it didn't do it well at all. Oh, yeah. I have to put it up here in the uh, double space. Here's the uh, complimentary one to that uh, old uh, staff car, I think it's called. We have the fire version, opening hood. And let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, I, think, uh, I think this is a GTX, kind of a milky spectra flame type color. No opening features. I forget what this is, Nova, Chevelle? Yeah, I think it's a Nova. Opening hood. Now, uh, these are not cheap cars, like I said. Uh, almost all of them have metal base, metal body. I think there's one that actually doesn't. I forget which one, so I can't say all of them. This one, no opening features, but if you like logo, logo cars, this is a nice one to get. Here you have the Stalling for Time Roadrunner, 70 Roadrunner. I don't think it says 70 on the base. I just know it's 70. Yep, it does say 70, 70 Roadrunner. Love this one. I actually have a few of that car. I love it. And this is a spoiler. You have the Plymouth Barracuda. Spoilers, in case you didn't know, Spoilers was a series with open hoods, blown engines, blown engines and a racing circle on the side uh, like that. I'm missing a... Maybe it's... Uh, I have one more. I think it's, it might be in my next case. So here's a look at the, like I said, the Plymouth Barracuda. Mm, it says Plymouth Barracuda. Is it called that? Sometimes they might say something on the base and then they, they, they give it like a more common name. Uh, I really had high hopes for this because as a basic car, the Shelby Cobra is fast, especially the older versions with the metal base and metal bodies. Even basic cars, they release this with metal base, metal body. It does have an opening hood. Nice and shiny. Not fast enough to be a contender. So it got put back in the jammer. I did a story about this one, this car here. Uh, Custom Auto, I believe the name is, opening hood. In the old days, the red line packages would have a car on the package, but it wasn't actually a car that they had ever produced until like uh, 10 years ago or so, I forget. Yeah, Custom Auto is the name. All of these plastic tires, because if you're gonna do racing, you want hard plastic tires for racing. Let's go ahead and set this aside and take a look at this case. This is a, uh, everybody wants to buy this from me. You know, hot cases, they make cases for the, uh, to stat for your blister pack Hot Wheels. And for a very short time, they made, they made uh, some of these, con these, um, I forget, luggage, handles, something. Uh, sold out, gone, long time ago. And I'm not selling mine. There's the cars we raced with. School bus. This is a vintage Redline school bus. You've seen a Redline Club reissue. Here you have the noodle heads. We have two antifreeze colors. It's Sidekick. Now we, they made a version called Slidekick. Here's the VW bus. Now these two noodle heads, one's Amanda's and one's mine. And we know the difference because mine has a skip on the rivet. And if you look on the left side, when it was assembled, it has a skip on the middle right there. And Amanda's is perfectly clean. But hers, the, the, how we know hers, by the way, 
is in the rear right tire, right here inside the groove, there's a little bit of a over chrome, there's silver inside the groove right there. And that's how we know which one's hers and which one's mine. Now the noodle head, very fast. This is a champion downhill racer. Matter of fact, the people who took first and second place, they were racing noodle heads. On the left, that's Jonas. Now I posted these pictures on Instagram and I asked his dad to make sure, is it okay I put his picture on Instagram? Dad said, sure, go ahead. Just, uh, Jason said, go ahead. And then his son's name was Jonas. He said, go ahead. And then I thought, you know what? I should go ahead and just ask Jonas as well, you know, because too many parents be oversharing their kids stuff without asking their kids, is it okay? So I asked to make sure it's okay. Now, to be honest, I asked just for Instagram, but I'm pretty sure they won't mind. But anyways, in the middle, there's Ted Gray, won first place. He's, I think he said he's won first place seven years in a row. Now, my noodle head, I've won some uh, trophies with it some years ago, but now it's just not quite as fast. And on the right, there's Jeremy. There's my son. And uh, he's taller than everybody there. He's taller than me. He's been taller than me for a long time. The trophies are very nice. On the bottom, they say what category and what place you got in. There's Jeremy's. Third place, and on top they have a custom decorated Hot Wheels model, and those Hot Wheels models usually are from previous conventions. They don't sell out, and so they open them up, and they just repaint some of those old souvenir cars that didn't sell out, and then they wind up right on the trophies and other awards. I talked about the noodle. I don't remember if I mentioned it has a little bitty opening hood, so it does have some moving feature. Heavy noodle head. Get it? Noodle head. Look at it. It looks like uh, spaghetti noodles for the uh, engine. Here's the uh, school bus. That's S apostrophe cool bus, school bus. It's a funny car. Opens up. Now I look at this. Now I, now I can figure out how to put the, my other one back on. It hooks into the front. Oh, you know, I was doing trying to do it backwards. I thought this came forward. Now I see it goes back. Anyways, so it's not uncommon for you to find redline school buses with uh, that part missing, I think that's the uh, scoop, what they call it. And like I said, I forgot what that one's called. The proper upper thingy. So it's not uncommon for those to be missing. He won third place with this truck. I've won trophies before. And we also have a sidekick. That's all right. Uh, it has not placed, but it's fun to race. This original red line, and it's called sidekick because... Uh, Slide kick, side kick. You pull out this part right here and the door pops open. There you go. Uh -oh. Gotta be careful. Expensive. I don't know. I think I got a deal on this one. I think I only paid like $50, $55. Can't get my finger in there. Let's see if we do it better. There you go. And uh, VW bus. This was a Vandy Camps mail in. Buy so many uh, fish sticks and send in UPCs. This one came out of a uh, CD-ROM set, but uh, this one, you have to be careful with these because it only has this little plastic hinge. That, that's all that this hooks on is that plastic hinge. So if you drop it, sometimes that breaks. Um, there you go. Well, he didn't do the bus race this time. I'll show you the cars on the other side right after this break. Here you go. Here's the Red Line Club cars that we chose to race. Uh, these were the ones that we tested last minute on Saturday. Uh, some we got to test on. Oh, you know why? It's because uh, we went walking around the hotel, looking, going room to room, trying to test some other cars. We tested this one right here. This is Nitty Gritty Kitty. It's a spoiler. Let me go ahead and get in closer here. This is not an original red line. This is a reissue. Uh, did I say this was Convoy Custom? Hold on, let me get this so I can zoom in a little bit. So I don't have to keep reaching so far. I think it's Convoy Custom, Custom Convoy. I always get it backwards. Convoy Custom. This is, it usually gets rubber tires, but this one, it got these red line wheels, plastic red line wheels. Uh, it was not a contender. You know, gave us some track time. Time on the track. That's all right. I didn't know how I'd do it unless I'd try. This one I bought, I said, wow, well, I know this one's heavy. And then I realized, oh, wait a second. It's kind of wide, and sure enough, it is slow. It's, I don't think it's rubbing on the sides of the track. Uh, it might have been, 
It does move, but it is slow as molasses. 55 Chevy. Uh, I can't remember if this one had the bike. Maybe. Or it was at the door popping open. So if you didn't know about this having a bike before, now you know. Look, it's got a little motorcycle in the back. Pull it right out. And the convention version. Oh, I raced this and we did not take off the uh, plastic in the rubber band. Anyways, uh, I'll do that real quick. Hang on. Well, I didn't mean to pop it out, but it, it just comes off. It just uh, slots into this rail in the back of the truck. You can see that rail. So you just slide it in. This was a pretty cool release. Look, they even decoed the chopper on the bike. And the convention version does include the bike. And they do say it on the, right on the package, it says the 55 panel with bike. I think it was 55, 56. There you go. Goodbye. Hey, look at that. Two rocket by babies. Mm, why do we have two? We actually had three because in testing, that was the fastest casting that we had. I only had one of them. So we went room to room looking for a couple more. Uh, obviously, since nobody else won a trophy, uh, it, we, it did not win. I forget this one because it looks like Bifocal 2. Oh, I know. Now I know the name. It looks like Bifocal 2. So apparently they're very related. Might have the same base. This is Show Off, I believe. Yeah. Show Off. Very related to Bifocal 2 or Bifocal. Actually, Bifocal, right? Bifocal 2 is a modern reissue. We'll take a look at this one. Odd, broad, mob, broad, broad, broad. Oh, super, wrong one. Super fine turbine. As a matter of fact, that guy who won first place, he collects turbine uh, red lines. And he even has some prototypes and wood prototypes. We're talking 50 year old stuff or 45. Anyways, there you have a uh, super fine turbine. No, mm -mm -mm. is it super fine turbine? Yep. Sorry. Super fine turbine. Uh, I don't know if I have an original red line, so that's why I don't really have it memorized. I think it was released in like that era, 1973. It is an expensive original red line to pick up. This is a modern reissue. I did not know that. Look at the opening door. I can't tell if there's nothing in there. Two shelves. Anyways, this was uh, the winner right here. Uh, I believe the person who won, Ron, with a rocket by baby. The one that we had tested with that was the fastest, um, when we bought the other two in the hotel, it couldn't beat the one that we had. So I didn't even have to buy extras because they couldn't even beat the one that I had. So Amanda, Jeremy, and my wife, we had three of these for them to race with. And then I had tried some of the others and uh, yeah, they, they weren't so hot. Yeah, this video is running a little long. Uh, if you stuck around, uh, if this is the type of content that you enjoy, I don't mind doing it once in a while. So if you enjoyed it, thank you very much. Those eBay stuff, uh, if you want to pick something up from eBay. I have other things in my, in my uh, eBay store as well. It helps support what I do, especially for the future. There were eight cars in this Disney set. And you know what? I don't remember which ones I found in the store. I knew I did not find Fandango. I'm pretty sure I did not find Chip and Dale because Amanda likes Chip and Dale. So I was pretty sure I needed to find that one. Now we'll just look at these. Oh, so the story with this one is I didn't remember which two I had. Uh, so somebody had a deal in the room like two for 50 cents. So, they had all of them except for Mickey and Minnie. So I went ahead and bought two of each of the other ones. It was two for a dollar, you know. Uh, anyway, Sunday show, somebody had these. They were charging $3 each. There you have Mickey and Minnie. And since I had the other ones at a deal, uh, spending $3 to get two cars, no big deal. Now I know I have them, and mentally I could just forget about it. I know I got them all. There's Minnie Mouse in Quick and Sick and Fast Feline. Got Mickey Mouse decorations. Man, I like Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale riding on horseplay. Hmm, you know what? There's a... Uh... Now man is going to get mad at me. Somebody has a chocolate chip nose. That's got to be Chip. That's right. So that means this must be Dale. Because the chocolate chip nose is Chip, right? If not, 
She won't see this video. I won't get in trouble unless somebody rats me out. Scuba de fuego. Daisy Duck. Let me back it up so you can see them real quick. And by the way, oh yeah, you can see right here. You can put the package, the packages together side by side, and it does form a mural. So if I ever do that, then I am going to want to get uh, another Mickey and Minnie because I'm going to be racing them, so I'm going to be opening them up. Daisy Duck. And there you have a Bandera for Donald Duck. And I did tell you Scoopa de Fuego was the other one, right? Scoopa de Fuego. So some of the cars in here are going to be the other cars in that set. Because I got two of each. And you can see, uh, you can see Pluto. I think that's Pluto. But yeah, Pluto, right? Yeah, Pluto. Duh. Picked up a uh, three Tomica. I used to buy some Tomica from one guy, but I don't go to him anymore. That's another story maybe for another day. Four GT concept car. I would have thought that I would have picked this up before. Wasn't sure, but this guy was selling three, four. I think it's J car was selling them three, four, $25. So picked them up. Back to the future, the DeLorean part three. Uh, the, the DeLorean from Back to the Future part three. So I picked up three cars, one, two, and three. Jurassic World Tour Vehicle. I've seen reviews on this one. This has a uh, clear roof. I don't remember if this one's actually in the movie. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll talk about this in a second. So look at this. Uh, you know, people open up master sets and they sell the uh, good cars for... Uh, wait a second, now that I think about it. 2019 master How'd this guy get a 29 master 2019 master set? Didn't even dot on me till right now. Anyways... They only want a buck each for the fantasy stuff. So, got a treasure hunt. HW Armor Truck. Circle Flame logo right on the door. Uh, I did not, I don't think I found this batch of Target Red. And so, I got, a, as a matter of fact, is there another Red Line Club? Anyways, um, guy gave me these for free because I bought something else. Matthew on Cars, he does videos here on YouTube. So him and his dad were there. I bought another car. I bought another car, a $10 car, and then he let me have these for free. I don't think I found these. 87 Dodge D100. Here you have the Porsche 918 Spotter. These are Target Red Edition cars. So these are probably from the same set. Seven, eight, nine. These three were out at the same time. And here you have the uh, HW50 Concept. This was pretty cool because this was from the 50th anniversary uh, HW50, they came out with this car for the 50th anniversary concept car. And if you notice, this one has a black engine. Well, there actually was a variation. He even let me have this too. Did you know about this chrome engine? Uh, I don't know if I knew about it or not. I couldn't even find it. And honestly, since I shut down the race groups community on Facebook, uh, I didn't notice people talking about this on other boards. Or maybe they did and I just forgot. Here you have Fandango with Goofy. There's Fandango, and this version is plastic base, full metal body. There's Goofy. Oh, got these for a dollar each too. This is from the uh, Double Loop Dare X Games event. There was two cars. This is yellow, and then they had a green version. I have a Double Loop Dare playlist. Uh, if I remember, I'll, I'll hook it hook it up uh, in the cards above. And double loop there, they set up a... Uh, wait a second. Yeah, that's it right there, because they started this way. The two cars raced, and they have the double loop, and they almost didn't make the jump. I was standing right here when I did the video. It's it's one of the videos in the playlist. that I just linked to the playlist in case you want to see the uh, track set that was for that. And, you know, I'm really not buying the retros because I don't like that they don't stand up anymore. They used to be on these nice semicircle uh, display pieces. One dollar. Yeah, sold it for a dollar. So, well, you know what? I'll buy that for a dollar. And who we have here? Pluto. 16 Angels. Man, they got one of these. She loves green. Let me have a look at Pluto real quick. What's that guy's name? Pete. It's under my thumb. So here's 16 Angels real quick, and then we'll take a look at Pete. I did. This is one for sure I did not have. 
And I think the other one that I didn't have was Mickey, because I'm pretty sure that I picked up a pink car when I bought these. It's kind of hard to show. There you go. That's not so bad. There's Pete, two samples of Pete. I got two of each for the two for a dollar, because I'm going to open them up, and then I have one for the card. we already seen those. And look, I hardly buy anything, really. These are going to be, oh, yeah, so we look at Hot Wheels Convention is not just. And people ask, you know, people ask, they never find out about the convention. Well, they have Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, just look for them and follow them. Uh, double, 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 double. And there you go. We'll just finish right there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed checking out my, uh, this, is a long, this is a long video. Outro, there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.